right guys me maganda again so you've been wondering where i've been ultimately it's because i moved locations i set up my studio in my garage and ultimately it's great however i am running on wi-fi i use obs for all my streaming um and video creation so the issue now is how do i boost the signal so ultimately i had an old nighthawk ac 1900 sitting in my closet and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set it up as a wireless repeater, wireless bridge. We're going to do bridge mode, but whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, we went ahead and pulled it out. It has three wi Wi-Fi antennae. Um, it's the Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 Smart Wi-Fi Router. It's the R7000 series. So as you can see, the Nighthawk AC1900 has four network ports, a WAN port, a USB 2.0 port, you use that for like, you can do it for like upgrading the firmware, stuff like that. Uh, power and a power on and power off and a power plug. So we're going to go over here. It also has, which makes this thing awesome, I used it for a while as an actual NAS. Uh, USB 3.0 yeah buddy you can actually move data pretty quickly this isn't going to be wired in any way is the idea we may wire to the desktop but ultimately we're going to have a full connection from here to my main Synology 2600 AC router alright guys so we're back at the PC so we're going to go ahead and do a speed test and see what we're getting on Wi-Fi right now Twenty-two, twenty-four, yeah, extremely slow. Not ideal for a Wi-Fi camera at all. Okay, so as you can see, our speed test was twenty-three point nine megabytes per second, and our upload speed was thirteen point two. Um, clearly, this is not ideal for the situation. Um, I got my main router way in the other side of the house, and what we're going to do is build a Wi-Fi bridge. So the difference between a Wi-Fi bridge and a Wi-Fi repeater. Wi-Fi bridge makes a, establishes a connection directly with the uh, main router. Then it uses the ports um, on the secondary router as connections to that bridge network. But the problem with it is you can't use it as a repeater. So a repeater, it receives the signal and then it broadcasts it out. Um, using this Nighthawk, unfortunately, um, if I was to do that, it's set up with no security. Um, we don't want that. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is set up a bridge and then maybe in a later video, I'll show you some custom firmware you can put on these and uh, we'll work from there. So as you can see, we went ahead and ran the cable back to the mini PC that's connected to Wi-Fi. We're gonna go ahead and disable that Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and configure this. We're just gonna give it 192.168.1.2 as its primary IP address. And then I'm gonna walk you through using the Nighthawk setup. Um, if you have a different router, it's a very similar process. Okay, so as you can see, our Nighthawk router has been factory reset, pushing the bun on the back of the router. I'm gonna go ahead and hit disagree because I'm gonna go ahead and actually roll this firmware back and then load up a custom firmware in a later video. But ultimately, we're just gonna go ahead and hit apply. <coughs> and just wait for it to load. It's gonna go in circles and it's gonna say, hey, we're looking for an ethernet cable. We can't find it. Um, so we're just gonna hang out for a moment. Okay, so this is what I was saying. So I'm saying no Ethernet plugged in. That's fine. We're going to say no. I want to configure the internet connection myself. We're going to hit next. Okay, like any other router, you're going to go ahead and set up your credentials. Um, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. Go ahead and fill out these two questions and then hit next and I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, so since you hit next and now you're off the main screen, these are software and stuff for like security and parental controls and stuff like that. However, everything for me is being managed by my main server, so uh, this doesn't matter to me. So ultimately, we're going to go over here, we're going to click advanced, 
Then we're going to go to advanced setup. We're going to router AP bridge repeating mode. Then we're going to choose bridge mode. And then this is actually a button. We're going to click this and say set up bridge mode wireless settings. So we actually want to go ahead and you could set it to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Um, I mean, for me, I'm going to go ahead and set it to AC um, to get the fastest connection I can. So go there. And then, so this is pretty important. The SSID has to be identical to what you're connecting it to. So the SSID I'm connecting to is Yavin 4. You go to password network key. This is whatever the password on the router that you're connecting to is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Hit apply, hit okay. And we're gonna wait for it to reboot and we'll be back momentarily. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and check the IP address of the router. We're gonna go 192.168.1.2 this time. Yep, it prompts us for the login, so just admin and then whatever you made the password so since it's in bridge mode this cannot broadcast the Wi-Fi signal it's marked as wireless um, it has one device which is this machine that's plugged into it directly um, so that's the mini PC that I'm using. Um, okay, so let me go back here. We go to home. Well, there it is, guys. It's now running as a wireless bridge. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. So the beautiful thing is this PC is now getting, you know, almost 300 megabytes per second. Um, it's pretty much half of my network speed. It's almost as if it was plugged in directly. Um, upload speed, don't expect much from it. As you can now see, it is 277.9 megabytes per second download speed, 13.7 uh, megabytes upload speed. Well, there it is, guys. If you think this content helped you and you want to see more stuff like it, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you want to support this channel directly, you can get your very own Your Vote Doesn't Matter t-shirt or the classic Who Built the Cages Joe t-shirt in the description below. Well, guys, if you want to see more tech reviews, memes, and propaganda, check out my channel. As always, my friends, meme on, my friends, meme on.